This is a supplementary video to a video that we previously posted that demonstrated how to extend your wireless home network using a TP-Link AV600 Powerline Wi-Fi kit. As the default IP address that TP-Link assigned to our AV600 changed once the AV600 became integrated into our home network, in order to reconnect to the browser interface of our AV600, we will need to find the IP address our wireless router has assigned to our Powerline Extender Kit. Before we extended our home Wi-Fi, our wireless router and the AV600 work together but use separate wireless access points. So when we integrated the AV600 hardware with our wireless router, we created a single extended wireless network. However, as the router and the AV600 both cannot have the same IP address, the router automatically reassigns the AV600 with a new IP address from the router's DHCP server. So in order to reconnect to the browser interface of our TP-Link AV600, we need to discover the new IP address that our router has assigned to our Powerline extender. On most wireless routers, you should be able to find the DHCP option, which will display a list of the devices that have been automatically assigned with an IP address from DHCP. However, because of the way the TP-Link AV600 works, your router's DHCP may not acknowledge that it has assigned an IP address to the AV600 extender. If this is the case, the only way to discover what IP address has been assigned to our AV600 is to use a piece of software called a network scanner. So in this video, we're going to use free IP scanner to scan our home network and find the IP address that has been assigned to our AV600. Free IP Scanner is a Windows application that can be downloaded from the internet and will work with all versions of Windows. You will find a link to this website in the descriptions to this video. As Free IP Scanner is a self contained application, we do not need to install it onto our computer before we try to run it. Instead, we simply need to double click on the IP Scan icon to have the scan tool load. While Free IP Scanner is classed as freeware, before we can use the software, we are asked to register. So if you find Free IP Scanner of use, it might be worth registering just to ensure continued support of the software. For now, let's select Skip. To run a scan of our network, we first need to enter the IP range of our wireless network. In this example, the IP range needs to be set from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.255. When we select Start Scanning, the results of the scan are displayed in the main area of the free IP scanner window. If we scroll through the results, any IP address with a tick next to it signifies that that IP address has been assigned to a device on our network. We now need to do some detective work to see which IP address has been assigned to our AV600. In this example, based on the IP addresses that we have listed by DHCP on our router, we can extrapolate that 192.168.1.3 is the IP address that our AV600 is using. Let's load our web browser and open a new tab. In the address bar, now let's type 192.168.1.3. You can see that the login screen for the AV600's web user interface loads. Let's try and log in using our administrator's credentials to see the settings for our Powerline extender. So to recap, in this video, we used a network scanner to determine the IP address of our TP-Link Powerline Wireless Extender.
we were then able to log back into the settings for our AV600 via a web browser.